Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to do the full review of this Cellcon A200 Android phone. I have already done the unboxing of this phone so if you want to know uh, the general overview and what comes inside this box, check out that video. And the good thing about it is that it uh, sports a dual core processor, that's a 1 GHz dual core processor and uh, we can take out this back cover and we have uh, dual sim the first sim is 3g and the second one is 2g we can also add a micro sd card to the same to expand the storage you can check out again my unboxing video to know how to insert the micro sd card and the sim card the battery is a 1500 milliampere battery and again in my testing uh, i was really impressed with the performance of this phone and the good thing about this phone is the price that it with sells uh, the mrp quoted on the box is as you can see, it's 8,799 and Faisal Communications quoted me a street price of around 8,000 for this phone, which is a really good deal because this phone sports some really good specs. Let me talk about the same. It sports a 4.3 inch uh, screen and the screen quality, again, I have to say is pretty uh, decent for the budget. And it also hoses a front facing camera and I tested it with Skype and I was able to make uh, video calls. The rear facing uh, camera is a five megapixel shooter. I'll talk about it a bit later. It has a dual LED flash and uh, it has all types of sensors like a proximity sensor uh, ambient light sensor and even a what do you say compass so uh, in fact uh, cellcon did not skimp a lot of things with this phone the ram on this phone is 512 mb and even with that ram the performance was pretty good and in my day-to-day -day testing i didn't face any lag or anything like that and as you can see i'm using a very heavy uh, live wallpaper in the background then also the phone is pretty responsive now let me give you a physical overview quickly on the top actually we have this micro usb slot that will be used for charging the phone the power button here is here and it's a little bit small to my liking we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack on this end is the volume rocker and nothing over here and on the bottom actually the microphone pinhole is over here and we have these three touch type capacitive buttons and on this end again nothing on the back as i said the 5 megapixel shooter uh, it, it has autofocus and the Cellcon branding is at the bottom and we have a small opening for the speakerphone and the speakerphone I would say is adequately loud. On the front actually we have this nice earpiece and the voice call uh, quality I got was uh, decent enough and we have a front facing camera and we have the other sensors over here the huge 4.3 inch screen and let me unlock the phone we have these three touch type capacitive buttons uh, it's the, this one is not for the multitasking tray but this is the settings icon this is the home and this is for the back if you hold the home button for a while you get this ICS style uh, multitasking tray also in terms of battery life as I said this uh, hoses a 1500 milliampere battery and for my testing I did all my testing with just one single sim and I would say with just a single sim you can last it for a day I would prefer that Cellcon would have added a higher capacity battery considering that this is a dual sim Android phone but again, uh, the battery should last you one day. The only thing that I noticed is that if you try to play heavy games, then the battery drains a bit quickly. But apart from that, if you're not a heavy gamer, this phone should be able uh, to last you full one working day without any issues. Let me also show you the free memory. Do note that we are running this live wallpaper that takes up uh, a little bit of a memory. Let me invoke this advanced task killer and let me kill all the apps and let's also swipe away all these and now let me fire up this android system info and out of that 512 mb uh, as you can see we get 206 mb of free again do not that live wallpaper is running if i was running the static wallpaper it would have been a little bit more so in uh, the day-to-day -day testing and running of the phone i never faced any lags or anything like that so cellcon did a good job of optimizing this phone and let me also show you the Android version that it comes with. Again, we get this quick toggles over here. So that's nice. So you can quickly toggle between them. And the Android version it ships with is ICS and specifically the Android version 4.0.4. Coming to the storage, uh, uh, the built-in storage is 4 GB, but you only get about 2.5 GB of that. And again, it's divided into two parts, internal storage and the phone storage. Internal storage is 1 GB and phone storage is about 1.5 GB and you can also add a micro sd card up to 32 gb so in terms of storage this you should not have any problems with the phone and also if you look i like the fluidity of the phone it's pretty fluid let me show you the display also and we do get this auto brightness setting so that's also nice and again as i said in day-to-day -day usage i didn't have any problems with the phone as we are connected to my wi-fi network uh, let me fire up the web browser 
and let's go to tech2bus.com again the keyboard is sufficiently wide so it will be easy to type let's hit go and again as you can see it uh, loaded it pretty quickly and also pinch to zoom is uh, fairly responsive i would say no issues and it can also play back videos that are embedded within the web page let's also go to a little bit of a heavy site for example let's go to news.com news dot and uh, most probably it'll load the mobile version yeah it's loading the mobile version now and again as you can see kinetic scrolling etc is pretty smooth no issues so as you can see uh, it loaded this site pretty well uh, let's also go to one more website like TechSpot because and it's going to the desktop version now and as you can see it loaded it also pretty quickly and let's try the pinch to zoom gesture and as you can see the pinch to zoom gesture is pretty nice so in terms of web browsing i tested this phone a lot with web browsing and i would say uh, it gives you a good experience for the web browsing no issues with that again uh, you get this double tap to zoom and zoom out that's nice so in terms of web browsing i don't have any problems with this phone so let me get out of that also uh, this uh, does uh, have a youtube app and a full uh, play store so you can download whatever apps you like and let's uh, search for my channel itself let's go to geeky ranjit Mm, and let's just play back let's say this uh, xperia u android phone review and i'm going to change the orientation now hi there this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and as you can see let me lower the volume a little bit it's uh, loading it in high quality and as you can see it plays it without any issues so in terms of playing back youtube content etc it's not a problem and as we are testing the media playback I'll also show you how it playbacks uh, high bit uh, videos like 720p video etc. And again here the power of dual core comes in and I'm going to play a 720p trailer and I'm going to start over. And uh, single core Android phones generally uh, have a problem playing back this uh, video. It skips a few frames but again as you can see in this one the video is pretty smooth and uh, it is able to play back 720p content without any issues. As you can see, it plays the video smoothly. So in terms of video playback, again, uh, the playback was pretty smooth. But again, I would say that download uh, the player like MX Player. The one I was using is MX Player. That plays a lot of uh, video formats. So if you hit this home button again, as I said, you can just uh, go back and see all the uh, apps that are running. And you can just swipe away the apps like this. And uh, let's go to this Play Store. And let's quickly download the... And let's quickly download this Nina Mark uh, benchmark. Nina Mark 2 benchmark. And again, I would uh, say that the Wi Fi performance also of this uh, phone was pretty good. So, as you can see, it's a 10 MB uh, application and it's downloading it so quickly. It's almost done. So, uh, Nina Mark is a benchmarking utility that tested GPU of the phone and this is important for gaming I would say and let me open the same and I ran it earlier also as you can see we got a decent FPS of about 2526 let's run it again and a score of about 2526 is nothing spectacular or bad it's kind of middle ground I would say but even with that, I was able to play a lot of games, for example, Shadowrun, uh, Multiplayer, uh, Dead Trigger, uh, Temple Run, etc. So also in terms of what do you say, gaming, uh, the performance of this is, phone is pretty good. And as you can see, also the speaker quality, as I said, is pretty nice. Again, 25.6. And the GPU used on this, let's publish the score first. And as you can see, the GPU used in this phone is a Power VR SGX 531. So let me get out of that. One thing I don't like is that uh, what do you say, Cellcom in, uh, by default installed a lot of uh, unnecessary third-party apps on the phone. 
I had also run the quadrant benchmark test and let me show you the scores now. If we just go there. And the score that we got is 2948 and that's an excellent score for a dual core uh, Android phone. Let me give you a breakup. Total is 2948. Out of that, the CPU got a score of 4825. Memory is 3151. IO is 3908. 2D score is 505 and 3D is 2352. Again, also uh, one thing I like about this phone is, uh, as you can see, uh, it has a decent GPU. And another thing that I like about this phone is, as you can see, it's a dual core processor, is the sensors that they have provided. As you can see, we have the orientation sensor, magnetic field sensor, accelerometer, proximity sensor, and even the light sensor. So that's for the benchmarks. Again, uh, really impressed. And as I said, uh, as I said uh, the performance in general was very good with this phone. So no issues. I also wanted to talk about the camera performance. And here I'm a little bit disappointed, I would say. Though it has a 5 megapixel shooter, I would say outdoors, the quality is decent enough. Uh, but indoors, uh, the quality that you get is not that great. And the pictures come out to be, uh, what do you say, not uh, that great. Let me show you the same now. And as you can see, we do get this uh, touch to focus functionality, etc. So that's nice. And again, in Windows, I uh, have noticed that when you click it, it does take quite a while to take the shots, but outdoors, it's a little bit faster. And these are some of the shots that I've taken. And as you can see, the quality is okay, but not uh, great. So uh, outdoors, it ha is much better. I would say uh, if you compare it with the higher brand cameras like Samsung, Sony, etc. Uh, performance of a 3 megapixel or something like, is like that. But definitely it's not uh, equivalent to 5 megapixel shooters. Again, the front facing camera is uh, good enough for Skype. And another good thing is that you can make, uh, what do you say, video calls with this phone. Before that, let me show uh, the compass also. This is the compass app. And as you can see, if I rotate the phone, the compass works fine. And uh, let me also show you some uh, games that uh, you can run. Let me start with the Shadow Run, uh, the multiplayer version. This is actually, and I was surprised that it could play this uh, game pretty smoothly. Again, this uh, game does take a while to load, so you have to be patient. And as I said, uh, even the speaker is pretty loud so that's nice so let's game is loading and as you can see we are playing this game and let me show you how fluid it is it's a pretty intensive 3d game and as you can see there are character it's pretty smooth so again pretty impressive in my opinion i also ran dead trigger and that also uh, ran fine so in terms of gaming also uh, this phone was pretty uh, good so let me get off this game but again uh, if you play games like this the battery does uh, take a toll now uh, let me just quickly install this multi-touch uh, app also and it's installing and let's see the multi-touch points that is offered and i think so it's it's five multi-touch points we are getting so that's nice as you can see five so that's also nice so what do i feel about this phone i think so this is a great uh, budget oriented android phone and the fact that it's a dual core phone and the, as you have seen the performance of it is also really nice the only con that i would say is the camera the camera is just average and also uh, I would have loved that it would have a little bit of a higher capacity battery considering that it's a dual uh, SIM Android phone. But again with a single SIM as I said earlier, uh, the battery performance is decent enough and you can last it for a day. So overall I am really impressed with this phone and considering the fact that it's a dual core uh, phone and the performance is great even for gaming and 3D gaming. So I was impressed with this phone. And if you are okay with uh, these local manufactured phones like Carbon, Cellcon, etc., this is a great Android phone by Cellcon. Uh, the model name is A200. And uh, this uh, product gets a big thumbs up from me. I hope you found this video review helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech 2 and I hope to see you in my next video.